Hi, this is Larry. This is an interesting, um, this is actually an optimization problem, which you see lots of them in um, calculus. This is an example of an op optimization problem you can do really with Algebra 2. So let's um, draw a nice straight river. And then Farmer Ed is going to put a fence along three sides of his rectangular plot. We're going to call we call this the width of his plot, and we're going to call this the length of his plot. And the total length of fence is 650. So we know that 2w plus l equals 650. We're going to solve for l so we can get rid of that variable. l equals negative 2w plus 650. And so um, we're going to replace, I'm going to replace a couple things here. I'm going to replace l with negative 2w plus 650. I'm going with the algebraic convention of listing the variable first before the constant. And then what it's going to do, let's, um, let's replace the w with x. Let's call it x and negative 2x plus 650. So we can um, get into our usual quadratics mode. So, in fact, let's do it over here, too. We'll replace W with X. Okay. So, we're looking for maximizing the area. The area is, in fact, length times width, X times negative 2X plus 650. That's the area. That equals negative 2x squared. Oops. Why is that acting like that? Negative 2x squared plus 650x. Now that is a quadratic. Let me circle this in a nice green color. That's a quadratic. If you'll notice, the leading coefficient is negative, which means it's a upside down parabola, pointing down, concave down, however your teacher taught you to term that. It's this kind of parabola. And the vertex will, in fact, be the maximum, will be a maximum. And we want a maximum. So all we have to do is find the vertex find the x coordinate of the vertex and we'll have the width of that field and we can easily then find the um, length of that field and then find the area of that field so what's the easiest way to find the x coordinate of the vertex of a quadratic if um, you don't know this already I'm going to teach it to you now the easiest way is to take negative b over 2a. If you have a quadratic in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative b over 2a. So in this case, negative b is negative 650 over 2a. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So there you go. That is let me see if I can erase these things. So 650 over 4, of course, the negative signs all cancel out. 650 over 4 is um, 325 over 2. That is 1662.5. That should be 
one fourth of six fifty. Let me just make sure I'm not giving you any misleading information here. Yeah, okay. So that's x equals 162.5. And if we double that, that's um, 325. In fact, that's half of our length of fence. So 162.5 is this dimension. And this dimension is 325. And this is, again, 162.5. And you add those three up, and you'll, in fact, get 650. And you multiply 162.5 times 325, and you'll have your maximum area. So there you go. I hope this makes sense. You can leave me a comment or a question here, in, I think, in this, um, on this question. So thanks a lot. Bye-bye.